Today's video is going to cover adding a drop down option if you click on a username in the chat room, which will then show you the user's username, oops, their role, a little icon with their, uh, with their profile icon, and then a option to message them as well as any other options you want. This is similar to Discord, except right now my server works and Discord doesn't. I don't know why it's down, uh, so I can't show you the example. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to implement this feature real quick. So I'm going to stop this demo server and go over to the actual project and then just type Rails S to start it. And then if I refresh, you'll see that uh, hopefully everything works and it looks like we're good to go. So what we're going to do, uh, this is a little bit of a different build, I think. Let me just go check. Let's go into app, views, messages, and message.html.erb. Uh, it looks like it does have the user role there, but for some reason it's not showing up. That's fine. We'll just go ahead and we'll start here. So in the message partial, we're going to take the link to the user right here. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to leave the H6 as a wrapper, and instead what we'll do is we'll just say we want to render a messages slash user underscore dropdown partial, and then we'll pass in a user, which is going to be the message dot user. We'll save that, we'll refresh, and then we'll get our missing partial error, which we can of course fix by opening up our side panel here going down to messages, right click new file, and we'll say underscore user underscore drop down dot html dot erb. Once we're in here, I'm going to type test so I can see the text and then I'm going to just increase the font size a bit so you can see what I'm typing. Once that's done, I'm going to hit control B to hide the side panel uh, and then we can actually just hit F11 to full screen this. So what we're going to do is we're going to place our little link down here just so that we can reference it and then we're going to try and set this up. So in the uh, drop down here, we're going to start with a class of drop down. So I'm going to type dot and then drop down. I'm going to hit escape to exit out of the autocomplete. And then I'm going to hit tab to use Emmet to expand the drop down div. And if you're wondering how I'm doing that, if you go up to file and then preferences, settings, and search for E M M E T, and then I think tab expansion, you'll see trigger expansion on tab. You just want to check that. And then you can use the Emmet tab to autocomplete your searches. F11 again to full screen VS code and then hit control plus to increase the font size a bit more just to make sure. Once that's done, we can then do a uh, anchor tag. So we'll say a href. This isn't actually going to go anywhere. So we're just going to put in a uh, pound symbol. We're going to say this is a role of button. It's going to be an ID equal to whatever you want to call it. Uh, so you could give it an ID of like drop down menu link if you want to. And then we can do a data dash BS dash toggle equals drop down. And this is just some basic bootstrap stuff. Uh, I don't fully know what it does. I just know that if I copy paste from bootstraps website, sometimes I get things that work sort of how I expect them to. So once this is done, we're then going to put this username right here uh, up top. So this is going to be the same username we had before, but we're going to have to style it a little bit differently. So let's go ahead and let's do a, uh, maybe instead of a link to, we can do a div. And the way we can do a div in Rails here is to just say this is a content tag with a colon div at the start, and that'll give us our div. Uh, we can then put this as the user.username because we don't have the message anymore because we passed in the uh, message.user. So this is just now the user variable for the user. Uh, and then after that, we can put a comma and then we can put our, our role that we were using previously, which is this message dash role dash whatever. So here we'll say this also has a class, which is going to be the MSG dash role dash uh, message dot user dot role, except this needs to just be the user dot role. GitHub Copilot's trying to help, but sometimes it misses the mark a little bit. That's why it's not going to unemploy us though, because we still have to check its work. So now we're going to do a UL and this is going to be our actual dropdown. So we're going to give this a class equal to dropdown dash menu. And then I guess we can just leave it like this for now, but we are going to have to add something extra to it just to make it not look as bad. 
Once we're in here, we can then do a uh, .ml-2, which is a margin left-2, which I think just adds something similar to style equal margin-left-2em. Don't quote me on that, though. But it seems to add a small amount of margin. Uh, once we do that, we can then do our image, which is just going to be another image tag where we do the user.chat avatar, which has a class of chat profile pick. So this will give us a basic image. I'm actually going to save this here and we're just going to pop out. We're going to refresh and we're just going to see what we've done with ourselves. So now it's updating the user roles again. So that's good uh, because this role right here, because it's blue, that means I'm an admin. If I click on this, you can see we have the uh, chat profile picture, but we don't have anything else in here yet. And it's white, which doesn't match our background, but we can deal with that in a minute here. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll also do a content underscore tag where we do uh, the username. So here we'll do another div. We'll give this the user dot username. We'll then do a style of color and then FFF, although actually because of how I'm doing this, I'm gonna cut this just so you can see what it looks like with just the username. So I'm gonna hit control R to refresh, click on this. And you can see here that the username is pure black and uh, I can't unhighlight this. The username is pure black, the background is pure white and the rest of our application looks a specific way. So if we put our links in here, which is gonna happen below this div, so just in the LI, we're going to put a, or inside the UL, we're gonna put an LI, which we'll do, um, let's see, we'll just do a link to. And then after the link to, we'll close off the LI just to keep things organized. And we'll say link underscore two. This can be the message option, which will go to the user and that'll automatically convert it to the path. Uh, right here, if I click on like John, It'll take us to slash user slash two because John's ID is two. So just linking to the user will take you there with how we have things set up. Then we'll do a class with a drop down dash item. And then we'll put a space at the end. We'll hit control S and then we can come over here and refresh. So now if I click on like my name, uh, we have a link here, but the link is white. So you can see how this looks a little bit strange. If we come into general and we go find John the same thing will happen. So the easiest way to fix the readability a bit here is to grab this drop down menu, oops, grab this drop down menu and do a BG dash dark, which is pretty much what we did in the nav bar. If we go up to the nav bar, it's a nav bar dash dark with a BG dash dark as well. And what that'll do is it'll convert it from this white background to a dark background with white text the highlight's still a little bit off, you can fix that. Uh, but now we do need to fix this text with our name, which is where the uh, style right here with a color of FFF comes in because that'll set the font color to white. So that looks a little bit better. Of course, you can style this a bit more as you please, but for now, I think this will work. And the last thing I wanna add here is a content tag. We'll give this a P tag. After the P tag, we'll then do the user.role. We'll give this a class of msg-role-message.user.role, except we don't need the message. We'll put a space right here. Control S again, refresh the page, come find John. John is a regular user, which is why his name is green. And Dean is an admin, which is why his name is, I don't know, Cyan or whatever you wanna call that. So that looks fine. We have our options down here. The last thing that I think we should do then is maybe we can add another option similar to what we had in the demo. So I'm going to click this or copy this, come down here, paste it. We're just going to stub out the second one or maybe say, an oops, another option. It's going to go to nowhere and it'll just keep the same drop down item. Come over here, refresh. We have a message, another option. Uh, and then let's do a little bit of a divider between the top bit and the bottom bit. Actually, let's see if Discord's up yet. Maybe we can take a look at that. Somehow I doubt it. Uh, but it, to do the divider, it's actually pretty simple. We can just come in here right below the div 
and we can do a li. We'll close the li, and then inside of it, we'll do a hr with a class equal to dropdown dash divider, and we can go ahead and close that. We can exit out of this, refresh, click on my name, and now we have this nice little dividing line that breaks up the top half from the bottom half. Some other things you might want to do is maybe move the oops, move the username, uh, or you know, move the admin role or stuff so that's it's a bit more lined up. Uh, but for now, you can at least click on the message and you can jump to a message or a direct message with that user. So here I'm in the general chat room. I see John's in here. Uh, maybe he said something funny, so I want to slide into his DMs and say, hey, you up, question mark. And then we can start talking to them. But that's going to do it for this tutorial. Hopefully this was helpful, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.